Hello children, in the previous video we had discussed about the Mendel's uh, monohybrid experiment and uh, the laws formulated from this experiment. That is, one is the law of dominance and the second one is the law of substitution. This says that, that uh, one allele remain as a dominant form and the another one is remain as a recessive form. And the law of segregation says, as they remain together, they do not hamper each other's character and at the time of gamete formation, they separate and pass to different gametes. And today, we will discuss about the dihybrid cross and the subsequent laws which is derived from this experiment, that is, the law of independent assortment. As the name suggests, di means two, so in this type of uh, cross, two pairs of contrasting characters are taken into consideration. These characters are the, the color of the seed and the shape of the seed. Okay? So Mendel crossed the PO dominant one with the PO recessive parent. Here you can notice that the yellow color is dominant over the green color and the roundness is dominant over the ventrumness. So in the in like in the monohybrid cross, the tallness is represented in capital T capital T. In this cross, the yellowness is represented as in the capital Y capital Y, and also the roundness is represented as in the capital R capital R. This means both the characters are taken at a time, considered at a time. One is yellow, one is round, and combinedly they form the dihybrid or the dihybrid forms. Okay, it is the dihybrid form. It is the dihybrid form. So here the gametes are kind of the gametes may contain the gene capital Y capital R and small i small y small r. By crossing these two, he got the hybrid of the F1 generation having the genotype capital Y capital R. Capital Y capital small y capital R small r, which shows the phenotypic uh, phenotype of yellow and round. Then he conducted the selfing between the F1 offsprings. These plants may produce the different genotypic combinations. See, it is the genotype of the F1 generation plant. It may produce the genotypes that is one capital Y may combine with capital R, one small y may combine with small r. Similarly, here capital Y combined with capital R, capital Y combines with small r, similarly small y combines with capital R and small y combines with small r. So four type of four possible types of genotypes or um, possible gametes are produced from this type of plant and also it also produces the four types of gametes. So here the male plant produces four types of gametes and female produce four type of gamete. By crossing between these gametes you can get the 16 different possible type of new plants of the F2 generation. Among them, okay, you see there, okay, here the possible genotypes, 16 different possible genotypes. Among them, the two are parental type that is the yellow round and green wrinkle parental means it is the parental yellow round green wrinkle so here yellow round 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so nine different yellow rounds are present and only one green wrinkle is present these are the two parental one likewise Two new combinations are also produced that is one is yellow wrinkle green round. Yellow is crossed with wrinkle in the previous parental one in it is crossed with or combined with round roundness but in the recombinant form yellow combined with wrinkleness. So the yellow wrinkle is formed and the green round is formed. Okay? These are the two new characters so these are known as the recombinant form. Okay, new character that is a recombinant form and the numbers are 3 and 3. So whole total the phenotypic ratio 
is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Okay. So do this checkerboard on yourself and check it or match it with this one. Okay. From this type of checkerboard or Punnett square, he derived the genotypic ratio. Genotypic ratio means the number of genotypes, different genotypes. These are the different genotypes. That is uh, how many capital Y, capital Y, capital A, capital R are present. Find it. Only one it is present. So the number is one. Likewise, how many capital Y, capital Y, capital R, cap, small r are present? Two. So the number is two. Likewise, capital Y, small y, capital R, capital R. How many? Two. So the number is two. Similarly, the other numbers of genotypes are mentioned and by rearranging these numbers, we get the typical genotypic ratio of dihybrid cross. That is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 4 is 2, 2 is 2, 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 1. That is 1, 2, 1, 2, 4 and reverse this one, 2, 1, 2, 1. Okay? 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1 and in the middle one is the 4. Remember in this form. So it is easier for you. And from this dihybrid experiment, Mendel's third law, that is the law of independent assortment is derived. And the law says that in a cross between the parents with two or more contrasting characters, the inheritance of opposite uh, inheritance of one pair of character is independent of the other. So the gist is the characters are transmitted independently. What does the uh, what does the law says? In a cross between the parents with two or more contrasting character. Okay, so the contrasting characters means the opposite character. And in a cross between the parents, two or more contrasting characters are taken. Okay, so here the contrasting characters are both yellow round with the green and red color. Two, two or more. Okay, it may be, it is applicable, this law is applicable to dihybrid cross and also the trihybrid cross. And the inheritance of one pair of character is independent of the other. That is, the yellow may combine with uh, ring round and the yellow may also combine with wrinkle. That the law says yellow may combine with round and yellow may combine with wrinkle. Similarly, green may combine with round and green may combine with wrinkle. Sim by simplifying this uh, term, uh, we can uh, describe it as uh, the alleles of uh, one gene are free to combine with the alleles of the another gene. The alleles of the one gene means the here the alleles are here the alleles are capital Y, capital Y, capital R, capital R. So the, um, the alleles here, all these alleles, in this case, the alleles are capital Y, small y, capital R, small r, in these alleles. So these alleles are free, the one gene, the alleles of one gene. Here one gene is, here the one gene is yellow, yellow is the one gene. So here the one gene is yellow. And the uh, alleles are capital Y and small y. So the capital Y is free to combine with capital R. And capital Y is also free to combine with the small r. Okay. So it says that the alleles of one gene are free to combine with the alleles of another gene. It is one gene. It is the one gene. It is the another gene. Okay. So the one allele of one gene are free to combine with 